y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a look at the Japanese art collection. This is available right now by Illimite Beauty and it's only available on the Live Love Polish website. So I'll go ahead and link my affiliate link down below. If you're interested, I do make a small percentage off of any sales made through my links, but it doesn't cost you any extra at all and it does help support this channel. So I'm always really, really grateful for you guys that shop through my links. So these are all available right now and I'll go ahead and get right into the swatches. So first up, is going to be Kenpaku and this is a fabulous gold. This is described as a bronze metallic polish with reflective silver flakes and holographic glitter. This looks like just pure glittering gold on the nail, very reflective, not much texture going on at all and a really nice formula. With these I found that they are a little bit thicker which I definitely prefer in a formula, it's going to go exactly where you put it and also bring the opacity with it. So this first coat does go on very nice and smooth. I do still have a little bit of visible nail line left, so I'm going to go ahead and let that dry down and then show you how it built up for me with a quick second coat. So here I am going in a little bit thicker for the second coat. It brought this polish completely opaque for me. I didn't have to worry too much about dry time. These dry in about four minutes or so, so no issues there. This one does have a ton of flakes, but it is... Pretty well glossy, not a lot of texture going on. For all my ladies who hate the texture, this is one that you're not going to have to fight at all. So here's a look at that completed mani at two coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. So here we're getting most of the gold and silver reflects, but out in direct sunlight, it does have a little bit of hollow that's going to pop through as well. So this is my final swatch photo at an angle in direct sunlight. So next up I have a Matsu, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and this polish is described as a metallic emerald green polish with reflective silver flakes and holographic glitter. So this one is a beauty as well. These were released back in the winter holiday season of 2018, so this polish is going to be a perfect shade for any Christmas celebrations you have, even going into the next year, but it's also going to be a really great option for St. Patty's Day or just any time you're feeling a green polish. Again, the formula is there. I know these polishes tend to be a little bit more pricey but they are definitely backed up by their application and quality so two coats is all I need here for complete opacity with my first coat I did go in a little bit thicker so honestly I could have probably gotten away with just one but for uh, comparison's sake I did want to go ahead and do the full two coats so here's a look at that complete in mani at two coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting so super, super reflective and beautiful. It's going to give you a completely different vibe in direct sunlight. Super gorgeous and a deeper green. So this is my final swatch photo and an angle in direct sunlight. So this next polish I think will be a surprise to no one is my absolute favorite. This one is called Koi. So this is a thermal polish. I think the rest of the collection is going to be thermal as well. So this one is described as a temperature reactive polish that transitions between a bright red when cold and sheer when warm with holographic gold micro glitter as well as gold to green shifting flakes. This one is super beautiful. It reminds me of like fire opal, very opalescent and beautiful. The base is pretty much like a jelly, so it's going to let you build up all of those flakes to your heart's content. You can see when it gets warm there, it does shift to a clear or very, very sheer shade with the red focus toward the tips or colder areas of the nail. I did swatch these when my hands were cold, so to get it to shift appropriately towards my cuticles, I did use a hair dryer. So I can't really speak to how quickly these shift. I do find that they're maybe a little bit more cold reactive. So here's a look at that completed mani at two coats. With this one, you may want to go ahead and do that third coat because it does shift to that really gorgeous sheer shade when warm. So here in my cold water, I'm going to show you how quickly that reacts there. Super beautiful in both states. This red is very bright, very punchy, and I'm just like completely in love with it. So this is my final swatch photo at an angle in direct sunlight. So next up we have Sumi, and this is a really close runner-up to being my top pick of this collection. I feel like this is a must-have, especially if you like a little bit more edgy polishes and you know like a little bit more rocker vibe this one is perfect so this one is described as a temperature reactive polish that transitions between black when cold and sheer light gray when warm with gold to green shifting flakes as well as holographic glitter 
So one coat, it is a little bit sheer. This again has a bit of that jelly base that you can build up and add as many flakes to your nail as you would like. When it's warm, it does go super, super sheer, a very, very light gray. I would almost call it clear because that's what it looks like on the nail. So with this one, it's really going to depend on your personal preference if you want to do two or three coats. I did find that it has pretty good coverage at two coats, so I'm going to stop there. So here's a look at that completed mani at two coats. With a glossy top coat, there is a very, very light amount of texture, but more so dulling. So a top coat is going to help keep it its glossiest and really make those flakes shine. So here's a quick look at how it shifts in my cold water. So back to that really gorgeous black state with all those pops of gold and iridescent flakes. Super gorgeous. And then this is my final swatch photo at an angle in direct sunlight. So next up is Kumo, and Kumo is described as a temperature reactive polish that transitions between a medium gray when cold and a light gray when warm with holographic glitter and blue shimmer. So if you're maybe a little bit intimidated by a thermal polish, this one is going to be a softer shift and transition on the nail, and both shades are pretty well good coverage so you're not gonna have to worry about your nail line sticking out too much so here's a look at that first easy coat and this one goes on super smooth really easy just a little bit sheer here at that first coat i'm gonna go ahead and let that dry down and then show you how it built up for me with a second so the warmer shift is much much lighter very icy feeling where the cold shade is a little bit deeper so at two coats, this is a pretty much a full coverage. I'm going to go ahead and complete this, let it dry down, and then show you what it looks like on the natural shift on my nails. So here's a look at that. Again, I did use a hair dryer for my hands because they were just completely freezing, and I wasn't getting a good shift. So that's a good look at what it will look like naturally. And then here is a quick view from a different angle in direct sunlight, and that's where all of the hollow is really going to pop through. So here's a quick look at that shift from the cold from the warm, I'm sorry, from the warm to the cold state. So here on the nails, super pretty, just a little bit more subtle. And then this is my final swatch photo at an angle in direct sunlight. The last polish of this collection is called Umi. And again, this is going to be a little bit more of a subtle shift, all in blue tones. This polish is super gorgeous. I love the combination of the red flakes on the blue base. So this one is described as a temperature reactive polish that transitions between a dark blue when cold and a medium blue when warm with iridescent and holographic glitter. This one again is in that jelly type base where you're really going to build it up depending on your personal preference to get the utmost coverage and flakies that you would like. One coat was pretty good coverage, just a little bit of visible nail line peeking through. And then when it gets warmer, it does go just a little bit more sheer. So I am going to go in for a quick second coat. Today, I am going to stop at two. If you wanted to, though, or especially if you run warm, you may want to go in for that third coat. Just add more flakies and coverage. So here's a look at that completed mani at two coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. I'm really kind of dying to see this one matte as well. I think those iridescent flakes would look gorgeous. But here's a quick view from a different angle in direct sunlight with a glossy top coat and then transitioning from the warm back to the cold state. So super beautiful. Um, I would say it's among my top favorites of this collection. I honestly think that this entire collection is gorgeous. So they do have a limited edition listing for the gift box. Currently it is waitlisted, but if you are interested in having a super gorgeous package that's perfect for gifting, I would definitely recommend checking that out. And that does wrap up my swatch and review of the Japanese art collection by Ilmite. Again, this is available only on Live Love Polish, so I'll go ahead and link those links down below. So that's all I have for today. If you'd like to see more, you can also follow me on Instagram at Sloppy Swatches. So thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.